extending for about a quarter of a mile on either side of this lake are limestone cliffs that are honeycombed with caves. And they are the homes of Britain's first Homo sapiens. I'm at Cresswell Crags, just 30 minutes drive from Sheffield. Over hundreds of millions of years, ice and water have carved out these dramatic limestone cliffs. I stick with the Roman road, which actually runs from north of Ullswater, past Pooley Bridge, all the way to the Roman fort at Ambleside, 23 miles, which was the distance a Roman legionary had to be able to march in a day. And this Roman road is the reason High Street has its weird name. Shoot forwards a thousand years and suddenly the undertakings are huge. Avebury Stone Circle, the megaliths at Stonehenge and, of course, Silbury Hill. These are monuments on steroids. This is a quern stone. This is a sort of um, stone for grinding corn. Grind them up into a kind of flour. It's incredible. Five and a half thousand years old, kitchen equipment. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. So obviously the nap proves that the people who lived here were skilled builders and successful farmers. Of the fells and valleys dropping away, the whole of the Scorfell Massif. Hands down, this is the best view in Lakeland. Even now, when you're throwing a penny into a wishing well, you're engaging in what is a very, very ancient, not fully understood tradition of making an offering to something where water and life come together. On an instinctual level, we all understand the power of that act. <laughs>